it's Easy Ann, and I'm coming to you from the space and place of ease and grace. I want to talk to you about the very essence of easyosophy, because when some people hear about making your life easy, they balk because they think that it's maybe a spiritual bypass or trying to avoid difficult situations. It's not really about trying to change difficult situations. It's about the way we hold things. For example, if I'm an easy osophist, and that's the easy osophy philosophy, one of ease or at least easier living, then what I'm gonna do is not change the external circumstances, Let's say I am a ditch digger and I become an easy osophist. Well, what I'm gonna do, of course, it's probably not easy physically to dig a ditch, but it's not hard emotionally unless we're out in the 100 degree sun and we don't have any water. I'm not talking about those situations. I'm talking about you going out in the backyard and you're just gonna dig a hole. And rather than suffer about it and get upset about it, what you do is that approach it with a sense of ease. So that's the difference in, in terms of easy osophy is that we wanna take on the things that we normally do in our life as if they're not a burden, as if it's a gift to be able to do them. Or maybe we can't get that enthusiastic, but some people carry every task as a burden. Everything they have to do, get up in the morning, it's a burden, it's a, it's a hardship, it's a difficulty. But it's not, there are too many things that we suffer about that are not hard. And so that's what easyosophy is about. It's about dis distinguishing the things that are really easy and then not putting our drama on them, our emotional drama on them. So it starts in the morning when we get up. Oftentimes we'll get very upset about waking up. I found something that works for me. I'm sort of retired and I can get up whenever I want to. And so what I do is I just lie in bed until I'm ready to get up. And so I might wake up at six and not even get out of bed until seven or eight because I just lie there. It's like, I don't feel like getting up, so I don't. But what I do notice is there's never been a day that I didn't get up. <laughs> Every time I will eventually get up. Now I do things, I have bed exercises and reading exercises and things I do in the bed. And so that works for me, but there's always some system that we can use or develop to get us over our resistance to doing certain things. If they are a burden, we can change our minds about them immediately, or we can actually change the way the burden goes. One question that we can ask ourselves when we're doing a task is, how can I do this if I were doing it, if it were easier? If this was easier to do, how would this go? And often when I'm doing something, there'll be something so in front of my face if I haven't noticed and I ask that question and I'll get an idea and it's a, it's a way to do something that's actually physically easier. So that is changing the external world so that it is easier and that is a part of the easy osophy philosophy but it's not about manipulating and controlling the world so that we don't ever have any pain or ever have any thing to confront, any suffering to confront because there is pain in life, there is suffering in life but not everything is about pain and suffering. Just a few words for you. Hope that you will consider this consciously, perhaps imbibe a few of the thoughts about easyosophy, take it into your day, and then remember one more thing for sure. I am Easy Ann, Ann Sermons Gillis, and I want to let you know that I love you.